This is the true stomach. The true stomach, otherwise called the abomazon. The abomazon is the true stomach. By the way, my name is Yakub. Now we are starting with the true stomach, which is the abomazon. The abomazon, just as the other stomach, stomach of the monogastry, it is divided into about three parts. The fundus, which is smaller part, then you have your body and the pylorus or the pyloric part. The abomazon is glandular stomach, unlike the remaining part of the stomach, which is muscular. It is made up of two division of glands, the gastric gland and the pyloric glands. The gastric glands are found both at the fundus and the body. Why the pyloric glands are found at the pyloric region of the stomach. Here is our torus pyloricus. Torus pyloricus. Torus pyloricus. Here is the greater curvature, the greater curvature, lesser curvature of the abomasum or torus stomach. Then here, it now continues with the duodenum. Our torus is here. I've mentioned it. Torus pyloricus. It was tucked during the test. Torus pyloricus. Again, here it was tucked. The pyloric part. The pylorus or pyloric part was tucked. And also, the torus pyloricus was tucked. Your vela abomasca is between your is in it is a muscular fault between the that planks the omazo abomazal orifice. Here it is. Here is your vela abomasca. Vela abomasca. Vela. 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 So is small, intestine. small intestine. The intestine is divided into two. We have small and large. Mm -hmm. The small intestine is made of three parts. You have your duodenum, your jejunum, and the ileum, which is the smallest part. The duodenum also is divided into two parts. The first part of the duodenum is the cranial part of the duodenum. Immediately after the cranial part, you have your sigmoid lobe. After the sigmoid lobe, we have a cranial duodenal flexure. Cranial duodenal flexure. We have the descending duodenum. After the descending duodenum, we have the caudal duodenal flexure. Caudal duodenal flexure. Then, after the caudal duodenal flexure, then, duod then descending, ascending duodenum. Ascending duodenum. After the ascending duodenum, then a junction between the jejunum and the duodenum is duodenum jejunal junction. The jejunum is the largest part, up to the last part, the most caudal part of the small intestine, which is the ileum. The junction between the jejunum and the ileum is jejunum ileal junction. Jejunum ileal junction. This is the ileum. The junction between the ileum and the cecum is the iliocecal junction. Iliocecal junction. This is the cecum. This is the blind sac of the cecum. The junction between your cecum and the colon is your cecocolic junction. Then the colon. The colon is made up of three parts. Your ascending colon, the transverse colon, and the descending colon. The ascending colon the ascending colon is divided into three parts. We have your proximal loop, your spiral loop, and your distal loop. The proximal loop, the spiral loop, and the distal loop. The proximal loop, the spiral loop, and the distal loop. The spiral loop is divided into centrifugal loop, centrifugal loop, the central flexure, centrifugal loop, then your distal loop, proximal, spiral, and distal loop. The spiral, centripetal loop, central flexure, centrifugal loop, which now continues as 
distal loop. Immediately after the distal loop, we now have a short transverse process. The short transverse process, short transverse process, then after the short transverse process, we have a descending, descending duodenum. Short transverse colon, not process. Short transverse colon, we are going back to osteology. Short transverse colon. Then the distal descending colon. After the descending colon, we have our sigmoid colon. The sigmoid colon, then the rectus, then the anus. So if you are to trace the movement of foot, starting from the abomasum, you start from the abomasum, you will now move the cranial part of the duodenum, then your sigmoid loop, then cranial duodenal flexure, then your descending duodenum, caudal duodenal flexure, ascending duodenum, duodenal jejunal junction, jejunum, jejunal ileal junction, ileum, ileocecal junction, cecum, cecocolic junction, colon, proximal loop, spiral loop, distal loop, transverse colon, descending colon, sigmoid colon, and rectum. So these are the pathway of the food.